Now, yeah. we have managed to turn one of these, a juice carton, into a TARDIS. Book Nook. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a virtual world that lives on your bookshelf. And we're going to show you how to make it, everything you will need. It's on the screen right now. Guys, you willing to help me out with this? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's give this a go. So, guys, grab yourself a juice carton and let's get cracking. You can take the little lid off and we're going to peel this open. Now, before I go any further, I must say, your guys' outfits are absolutely fantastic. Are you a doctor yourself right now? Yeah. Who are you trying to be? Matt Smith. Matt Smith, my favourite doctor. Who's your favourite doctor? Matt Smith. Matt Smith, he's a favourite. He's a favourite. Right, crack this open and peel it so it's completely open like this. Now you're going to very carefully trim this with some scissors. Of course, be careful and get an adult to help if you have to. You're going to trim down like this along the edges and we're going to fold this in shortly. Out of curiosity, guys, who's your favourite baddie on the show? The master. The master. Ma Both like the master. I've got to tell you, I like the Daleks. I like Davros as well. It's so hard to tell. There's so many good villains. All right, you guys, you're not going to completely get rid of this little bit with your scissors, and you can set that aside, and we are done with this for now. Right, next up, we're going to create the inside of the TARDIS. I have these amazing little designs right here, but you guys can make your own. And of course, if you want these, they will eventually be on the Blue Peter website. Now, we're going to pop these in the inside. I have some sticky tip in like this. We're going to pop these in the inside of the To Be TARDIS and stick them in. Of course, you guys can take a bit more time and go nice and neatly. How's it looking, guys? Good. I see you're trimming. That looks fantastic. I'm going to pop this one in here. And let's see. How's that looking? Starting to get there. This is the inside of the TARDIS. Doesn't look just yet. You guys are killing it. Right, next up, we're going to create a little hinge. Now, this is a piece of mirrored card. You can get these from hobby stores. Please, when you do this, get a grown-up to help and do not do this with actual mirror, one made of glass. This is cardboard. So uh, all you're going to do, snip this into two, put it together as a hinge with some tape, and then once you've done that, put some sticky tack on the corners. But of course, because we're short on time here, I I've made one earlier. Look, can you see that? <laughs> and this is going to go on the inside of the TARDIS just like this. And we're going to stick it in. How are you guys doing? Oh, you're absolutely smashing it. Is that a sonic screwdriver I see, by the way? Yeah. I love that. So we should have something a little bit like this. Right, we're almost there. We're going to tip all this down with a piece of tape like this. This is going to be the top of the TARDIS. Is that going to stay? Perfect. You're yeah. going to take a second juice carton and we're going to cut the bottom like this and very carefully just cut like this into all the corners so that we can fold these back. All right, question for you, Abdul. If you could use the TARDIS to travel anywhere in time, where would you go? I would go Gallifrey. You go to Gallifrey? That yeah. is a good answer. Ooh. I'm not even sure what I would do. I'd have to think about it. So you guys are going to fold up the edges like this, and this is going to be the top of the TARDIS. So this goes on top like this. We're going to stick it down. Of course, you guys take your time when you're doing this. That is looking really, really good. I'm loving what you're doing. Let's paste this down like this. And believe it or not, guys, we are just about done, almost there. Guys, what do you think of my completed TARDIS? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's not finished yet. It's only halfway there. And if you stick around, we're going to show you the second half of this later. It's time for part two of our TARDIS make. What part is next, Amelia? We're going to make the sides of the TARDIS. We are going to make right, these, off, uh, these awesome, <laughs> <laughs> not awful, uh, side panels of our TARDIS. But what you're going to do is going to pop these juice cards in on some cardboard here. You're going to trace around it. And you can do this four times, because there's four sides to our TARDIS. And it's going to look something like like this when you cut it out. And here is one I made earlier. Yeah. Here we are. She said yep. the thing. We have three of these ones, and it means that you can pop these out. We're gonna make, we're gonna cut out eight of these squares. We're gonna keep these squares for later. So if you can pop yours out and stick them on the side of your TARDIS. And we have three of these, so these are going to go on the sides of the TARDIS, and as you have as well, we're going to make one of these. And it's a big rectangle, we're going to pop that out, and that will make our door. So if you can stick those on for us there. And I want to ask you, what are you most excited about, about the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who? We're well, quite excited for it. You're quite excited for it. What are you most excited for, though? What do you want to see? We want to see, uh, I want to see all the doctors fighting all the masters. All the goodies versus the baddies. That would be really good. I want to see that episode. 
Okay, and next up, we have to make the base of the TARDIS. So the TARDIS is gonna land, and we want a really steady base for it. So we pop this on a different piece of cardboard here, and we're gonna cut out something slightly bigger than the base of our TARDIS. I'm gonna draw this out and cut it out, and it should look a little something like this. And I think you have one here. And what's really important is we're gonna make a little hole here. And we're gonna pop that one out. And on the bottom of our TARDIS, we have a little hole. And this means that we can shine a light through later. That could be really important. But before that, we need a clear wrapper, a quick clear sweetie wrapper. Thank you. And it's gonna have a little bit of color on the bottom. And we're gonna pop this on the bottom here and we're gonna tape it down. So then, means we can do that. So I want to ask, it's the age old question, who would win in a fight? Cyber Cybermen versus Daleks? Daleks. Uh, Daleks. The Daleks, why do you think the Daleks? Because they're just more powerful. The more powerful, what makes them more powerful though? The fact that uh, they can move on the ground and they can fly. Mm. And the fact yeah. that they have deadly lasers uh, on for their arms. They do, they're quite scary though actually. But on the front of our TARDIS, where we made this big rectangle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get a grown up because you're gonna need some sharp scissors and we're gonna cut up this bit here of this, this front of our juice carton and then we can pop it open and look at that. We ha It's bigger on the inside, it's pretty cool. And that was because of the mirror trick that Joel did earlier. Now, what we need to do is we're gonna pop out some of these little squares that we kept from earlier. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna stick them on to the front of our TARDIS, just to make this little design here. And we're gonna pop them on, one, two, three, four, on each side. Now after this, what we can do is we can paint it this TARDIS blue color, and inside you can paint it however you would like. You can have any different kinds of wallpaper, and what we did is if you pop a little light underneath, so you can use a torch, and you can use a mobile phone, and then you can pop this oh, underneath and line it up with that hole that we made earlier. Yeah. It's bigger on the inside. How cool is that? Do you like that? Yeah. Really awesome. That is about the coolest thing I have ever seen. And a massive so thank you to our amazing Doctor Who super fans, everyone. Woo! Woo! I've got to say, if you're still in the Doctor Who mood, then you want to head to the Blue Peter website because luckily the Doctor has given us some spare parts to create your very own epic sonic screwdriver. You guys have got to give this a try. Cannot wait to see what you come up with.